Hey guys, how's it all going? Hope everybody is well. Sorry about the noise, there's a guy, council guy over there streaming. Uh, as you can see, I'm at the stretch of river where I do the, the spinning uh, for bass. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do today. Well, as well as having a bit of squid out there. I've got my spinning rod to do the spinning with. Uh, I brought a little white lure with me. Um, and I've also got, right here, a travel carp rod that my good old mate Kevin gave to me. Uh, it's four piece, so it just fits right in the bag. Um, but together it's actually 11 foot uh, I thought that would double up as a great bass rod um, and I can't wait to catch a carp on it uh, it's very slim and light like the spinning rod but it has got a 2.7 pound test curve so that can handle some good fish um, I'm going to put a simple rig on that that I made up quickly this morning. I'll show you that in a minute. Get a bit of squid on, get it out there. And while that's sitting there, I'll do a bit of spinning. Um, here come a car. Today is Thursday the 24th. Um, so in a couple of days we've got the... You, know, you can't see me, can you? We've got the third... Uh, TLCM meat and I think there's going to be a lot of people on the pier um, but I'm looking forward to it as you can see over here that chair's still there and uh, a load of clues have been added to it <laughs> um, but anyway we're going to have a bit of fun uh, it rained all last night. It's rained this morning. It actually rained on the way here. And I'm, I'm literally just, I'm on my way to my sister's. I've got a couple of hours. I haven't even brought any food. Not that I'm eating much at the minute anyway. Oh, it's not a stream. It's one of them blowers. He's got to blow the grass away. Good idea. Um, yeah, so short session, but um, I'm not going to take this jacket off because it's still warm. Thank God. Um, it's warm, cloudy, obviously, and it is threatened to keep raining today. Uh, so I might be filming in between showers. Uh, but yeah, I'm just getting set up, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, here's the most simple setup I made this morning, guys. Just a simple, short running ledger, and then a couple of flotation beads, 2-0 hook, I think it is, straight to the main rig line, bit of squid, gonna punch out there. It's raining. Um, did I forget anything today? Yep. My umbrella. When I came out, it was raining. Umbrella was right there. Anyway, let's get this out and then we'll start spinning. Cheers, Kevin. Didn't tell me you'd clip the line, did you, numpty? <laughs> Try that again, shall we?
Holy shit. Mister, I was going to show you, just as so I turned round, there was a rat the size of a small dog running towards that skip. He was huge. Holy crap. Um, right, so that's out. Uh, see how that does. Oh, and the, uh, the reel for this, which is my first one, is a bait runner. So, anything takes that I'll, that I'll run, and then you flick the switch, and it stops. Um, cool feature. Or you can just wind, and that'll click off. Um, Raining is on and off. That is raining very fine at the minute. Um, but I'll try and position you so you can see the rod and uh, me spinning. Uh, so we'll see how we get on with that. Uh, is there anything to tell you really? Not much since I did my all night session. Um, still haven't heard about this job. Uh, I'm getting a bit disheartened about that now. I did message the guy a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days ago, and say, "Hey, you know, are we still meeting this week?" Uh, he's read it and not replied, so I don't know. Maybe he's busy. Maybe he just decided he didn't want to do it. I don't. I don't know. Um, I've got a bite. Got a bite. Stop now. Literally just chucked it in. Can you guys see? Here we go. Wasn't expecting that. Some can keep having a tug. Do I reel it in? I don't think you can see very well from there, can you? Now the light is too much. Let me put you this way. Is that better? I'm going to leave that. 
Sorry, keep moving you about. Could be crabs, could be anything. Uh, I don't want to reel it in just now. I'll see if it bites again. I'm going to get a, a lure on the spinning rod and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm set up on my little spinner. Um, I had no more bites on that. The reverse been stripped. Or something was just, I don't know, hitting the line or something. But you can keep an eye on that for me. Well, I chuck this out. I know there's a lot of white bait around at the minute, and this little lure was kind of similar. So, uh, let's see what we can do. Love to catch a bass today spinning. Bass have gone a bit quiet everywhere. Um, so we'll see how we do. Well, make sure you can see me. There we go.
Whew, it's that muggy feel today, you know. At least it's not blaring hot sun. As long as the rain stay off, it's quite nice. Just sitting on the wall there, chilling. Can't beat it. I'll reel that other rod in a minute and just see if the bait's gone. Catch one, I've just got to remember not to be too excited and knock this tripod and my camera into the river because then I am stuffed. Went online this morning uh, to make an appointment with a doctor, waiting for. Uh, a reply uh, not so much from my hips because you if you make an appointment with a doctor now you can only see him for one reason if you got to talk to him about something else you have to make another appointment how ridiculous is that um, but uh, my teeth are that bad now they're all broken or got massive holes in them and I'm not eating properly. I'm like having a cup of soup to just try and get stuff down. I've lost a ton of weight. None of my jogging bottoms hold up anymore, which is not good for video. If I'm reeling in and my cacks end up behind my ankles. Uh, but I keep getting woozy because I'm not eating properly because I'm diabetic. So I'm hoping Uh, the doctors are normally quite on up when it comes to diabetes, so I'm hoping he's going to refer me to hospital to have all my teeth removed. Can't get in with a dentist, and even if I could, can't afford it. So, fingers crossed, he gets me in a hospital, and they yank them all out. Because I can't keep going like this. Don't mind losing a bit of weight though. I mean, in the last year, I've gone from 19 stone to 15. Right, a few more cars and I'll check that other rod. That's a cute little boat. I like that. That'd do me something like that. Captain Bretsky. I like the idea of a boat. But only on a river. Not in the sea. I do not have sea legs. I go green. A 
I did it once when I went to Spain. Years and years ago. We do the fishing trips. I thought, right, let's have a go at this. Got in this boat. That went out to sea about eight mile. All the boat's going along. I'm all right. Was loving it. As soon as that stopped, I started giving up that motion. Didn't like that at all. Do you know what I've noticed? All the times I've fished and boats are coming past, the people on the boats were always so happy. Why wouldn't you be? Just drifting down the river, chilling. sink a bit more I think. The water's really coloured. Which I've heard is not good for lure fishing, because I'm guessing people assume they can't see it. But I don't know. I mean the water's quite coloured quite often. They have to eat, right? And they got that membrane over the eyes so they can see clearly. I mean, it might look coloured to us, but to a fish, they might be out of sea just fine, I don't know. They can't be all down to scent. Not as if they're Cocker Spaniels, is it? Oops. Better bring that in. Good see him. <laughs> I had a bite on that rod then, but I think it's from the movement of the water from that boat. A few more cars, and I'll check it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Hopefully the weather stays good. Because there are some people coming from quite a distance. And they come all that way to stand on the pier in the piss and down the rain. And it's bank oldie. So I don't know how it's gonna play out. But I'll be filming it, obviously. Nice to catch another smooth bound on it on the pier on my uh, on the next meetup. Assert my dominance. <laughs> to be honest, I hope somebody who comes in the group catches more than me catching. much of a pull today. I don't know what the tide tide time's in, I should look in a minute. I don't know what the time is, I think it's about eleven o'clock. Half eleven. I think high tide might be half one. Not sure. I'll check in a sec. I 
do like it here. I mean, it's a nice spot, the river. There's no one about. You don't hear the traffic, other than the traffic that's coming in at Razda here. But that's minimal. But it really is calm. I've only got a small, well you saw it, a little fresh water bomb on there. It's not very heavy. That's holding. Right, let's check this other rod. Not really touched. Not much weed though, that's good. I'm gonna sling that back out. See if we can get a bit closer to the brick. Love that rod, Kevin. That's a bit of me, that. Right, it's starting to rain a bit now, guys. So I'm going to turn you off and I'll bring you back. Oh, 
I'm going to reel this rod in now. I've had no luck with spinning yet. But this rod's been out for about 20 minutes or so now. So I'll reel it in, check it. This rod is so weird. weird. Feels kind of strange, look. The handle is about the same dimension as the rest of the rod. some weed this time guys got pulled in close to the wall it won't be much because um, I've just got that bomb on there when you've got a, a grip of lid on there grabs all the weed doesn't it tiny bit of weed bait's gone so I'll re Let's see how we do with that. That's getting hot now. Jeez. The weather here is just mental, isn't it? You just don't know. I could have come out with full wet gear, umbrellas, and now I'm sweating my head off. <clears throat> All right, let's keep an eye on this. New item to go on the checklist. Well, it's already on there, but I'm gonna have to put bring every time, even if raining, sun cream. I am burning, absolutely burning right now. I was pissing down this morning. Why would you bring sun cream? I'm just gonna have to leave it in my bag, constant. Whew. Luckily, I brought a drink. I weren't going to bring a drink. Hang on. Because that was going to be a short session. I didn't bring any food. I'm glad I brought my drink now. I don't think that was meant for me. Talking of that, big shout out to Gary. One of the dust cart guys. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I mentioned it in my group. This is going back a few videos. And I'd been fishing on the South Key when I'd been to see Nicky. And on the way back, I'm trundling along on Wanda. And this big council dust cart come by with four guys hanging out the window going, Taylor, it's car mines. <laughs> That was brilliant. I was grinning all the way home. <coughs> At least one of them. I think Gary might be coming on Saturday to the meetup. So it'd be good to see him in person instead of just yelling at me from the street. There's nearly 280 members now in my group. Uh, link in the description if you want to join it. Great group. It's growing on its own without me doing much at all. Um, everyone's sharing pictures and stories and it was this big, all that. Good bit of banter going on, normally at my expense, from Dwayne. I don't know if you could tell from that video when I was um, doing the night session because the light weren't that good. Thought I saw a fish top in there. Um, 
But as I'm reeling in one of my rods, he's got hold of the other rod, took the reel off and put it back on upside down. Git. It's funny though. It was funny. So yeah, and we've got uh, Paul and his wife Linda coming on Saturday. They're cooking up bacon rolls. Woohoo! Brilliant. If you are coming Saturday, that's going to be quite busy. Uh, I keep checking the Met Office. That is supposed to rain, but not till about after four o'clock. So hopefully that stays that way. Right, I'll keep an eye on this rod. And I'll bring it back. Well, nothing guys, uh, no more bites on the squid, certainly no bites on the lure. Um, do you know what I'm never going to say ever again on one of my videos? This is just a short session guys, <laughs> I've been here four hours, four hours. I messaged my sister, she didn't reply, so she's asleep. So I thought, right, that's it, keep fishing. I would do this all day, every day, if I could. Uh, especially if I could get paid to do it. The thought of going back to my flat just haunts me. What I might do is I might move from here, head towards Nikki's, go see her, and I might have a little dip in the South Key before I go home. Because I want that South Key monster. That still haunts me. That's quite a while ago now, that video, when I lost that big fish that I'm certain was a pollock. So I might give that a half an hour short session. <laughs> but I'll give this another 20 minutes. <laughs> um, that's because you, you get a bite, don't you? You get a bite and it's like, mm, don't want to leave, don't want to leave. But in fairness, that bite was four hours ago. <laughs> <coughs> right, <clears throat> I'll let you know in a bit what I decide to do. Executive decision made, uh, I'm packing up, um, gonna go see my sister and then uh, I'll decide whether to do the South Key or not, but uh, I will let you know, I won't leave you hanging in the dark. Right, talk to you in a bit. All right, so I'm on the South Key. I've been to see my sister. Um, I was going to go straight home because uh, I'm feeling a bit tired and hungry. Um, and then I looked at the river and thought, oh. So this part will be short. Just got the carp rod out with the squid on. Gonna put it out there, see how we get on. See if, uh, see if we get any movement from this side of the river.
Everyone loves a trier. Uh, Mate, you don't remember me. This is with fucking years ago, man. Tony, man. Like, I, I met you on fucking uh, Gorston Beach years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, well, on the pier, man. Like, yeah, it's been a long time. You had the same set. I know I recognise you. I follow you on fucking YouTube and oh, everything. Oh, nice one. Yeah, are you in my shop out here? No, not today, mate. I've just been doing a couple of short sessions for all the Yeah, yeah. Uh, up further towards Asda out here on the store. Had a couple of bites, but nothing. Hang them, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they're nothing even decent size, you know. No. I, uh, okay, guys, sorry about that. That was the end of the session. Um, I ended up speaking to that young man for about an hour, uh, and then I just packed up and come home, but forgot to say goodbye in the process. Uh, nice young man. Um, 
apparently he's going to be coming tomorrow uh, or Saturday shall I say on the uh, meetup so uh, I'll end this one here guys and uh, sorry I didn't bring you a fish but you know how it goes and uh, if you're coming on Saturday can't wait to meet you uh, I think it's going to be a great day so uh, all the best see you on the next one tight lines car minds bye bye